right, awesome. Let's talk about my absolute very first deal. So I was hanging out at a real estate auction one Saturday morning, getting my real estate auctioneering credit in so that I could be an auctioneer. I've retired that license since then. But anyway, right place at the right time, right? I was hanging out one Saturday morning at a real estate auction and it turned out to be a foreclosure auction. A local bank had a lot of foreclosures that they were trying to get off their books before the end of December. And this was the first Saturday in December. And I was just hanging out. I hadn't researched anything. I wasn't planning on buying anything, but I noticed that a lot of the properties were going for $500, maybe $1,000. The most expensive thing had sold for like $2,500. And at the time I was working at my mom's dump truck company and for extra money, I was selling dirty old dump trucks to dirty old men. <laughs> so when I had a little bit of money in my account and I was at this auction, I finally woke up and said, wait a second, could I buy some of these properties? And I asked my broker who was there that day. I was like, Hey, I think I could afford some of this stuff. Is it okay if I bid on it and buy it? And she was like, yeah, girl, do whatever you want to live your best life. Okay. So the next lot that came up was in uh, McMinn County and we were going from A to Z local East Tennessee County. And I'd never been to McMinn County. The property said it was in Decatur. I thought Decatur was in Georgia. So I was super confused to start with, but whatever, I was raising my hand and I was just a bid. And another apprentice auctioneer was also bidding on this lot. He'd been buying everything in this little section. And I said, what's going on? He said, I'll tell you about it later. Just buy this lot. And I said, okay. So I kept raising my hand and raising my hand and raising my hand. And the auctioneer said, Whitney, you're bidding against yourself. Slow down. <laughs> I said, okay, I didn't know what I was doing, but I ended up buying that lot for $1,200 tax tag and title, maybe like $1,186. I mean, something weird. And then, you know, that was including my buyer's premium. That was including closing costs all in all done. I bought 1.07 acres in a failed subdivision in Decatur, Tennessee. And y'all, I was so excited. I didn't know what I bought. And then I told my broker, I said, I don't have my checkbook. And she said, that's not how real estate works. You got to go to a closing later. You don't just pay for it today. It's fine. You can come by on Monday and bring us a check for the 10% buyer's premium. And I said, awesome. Where's Decatur, Tennessee? <laughs> so I hopped in my car as soon as the uh, auction was over and I was racing the sun to go find Decatur, Tennessee and find this lot that I bought. No idea what I was doing. Okay. So I found it. I found this failed subdivision and y'all, it is beautiful. It's on these rolling hills. It was an old farm. There's probably a hundred lots in it. And what was really cool. And I found out later at the closing was the very first 13 or 14 lots that they sold at this subdivision came with a deeded boat slip because this subdivision was built on the Tennessee river in McMahon County. But I didn't know any of that at this time. I also didn't know that the woman who bought it before me, and I bought it basically from her out of foreclosure at the auction that Saturday morning, she'd paid $69,000 and then quit making payments on it. She lived in California and she just wanted a piece of Tennessee. And during the recession, people were just buying lots all over the country and paying a lot for it. But I was able to buy that $69,000 lot for 1200 bucks at an auction. And because it was one of the first lots that sold, I just lucked into a deeded boat slip in the community marina. And then I got a little uh, ahead of myself, maybe got a little aggressive. And I started, after I knew what I was doing, I mailed a letter to all of my neighbors and said, hey, I wanna buy your lot too. And they all said, sure, we paid $50,000 in cash. When will you write us a check? And I was like, oh no. No, I paid $1,200 for mine. I'll give you $1,200 for yours. And they basically laughed at me and hung up. <laughs> so I still have this lot. I haven't done anything with it. It's a great buildable lot. They've got underground utilities in the subdivision. And I've had it since December of 12. So I just pay for my HOA fees every year. Somebody else mows it. I'm just holding on to it. But eventually, people will start building in this subdivision. I'll be able to sell it, maybe $10,000, $20,000. Maybe I'll be able to get fifty or sixty thousand dollars out of this lot, and that would be an excellent return on investment for my very first deal. This is the deal that allowed me to be a real estate investor. So go to those auctions, y'all. Get out there, spend some money, do it to it, baby.
in the next video, I'm going to tell you about my first house that I bought at auction. Get ready for it. It's a great story too.